بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al Imran verse 61 فَمَنْ حَاجَّكَ فِيهِ مَنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَكَ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ فَقُلْ تَعَالَ وَنَدْعُ أَبْنَاءَنَا وَأَبْنَاءَكُمْ وَنِسَاءَنَا وَنِسَاءَكُمْ وَأَنفُسَنَا وَأَنفُسَكُمْ ثُمَّ نَبْتَهِلْ فَنَجْعَلْ لَعْنَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَى الْكَاذِبِينَ So whoever disputes with you in this matter after what has come to you of the knowledge, then say, Come, we will call, we will call our sons and your sons, and our women and your women, and our souls and your souls. Then we will pray humbly to our Lord, and solemnly invoke for the curse of Allah upon those who lie. On the 24th of the Hajjah of this month, on the 10th of Al Hijra, there was uh, the Christian of Najran, a place in Yemen. They came to the Prophet after they got a message from the Prophet calling them to become Muslims or to pay the taxes to the new Islamic state which is led by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This you know event or this message came after the Battle of Tabuk when the Roman have been defeated or in fact they you know they couldn't you know, encounter Muslims or Muslim, you know, army in the northern uh, part of Arabia. And the Roman, they used to support the Christians in Arabia, those who are in the north and in the south. And they are sending them, you know, money to build churches and also to, uh, you know, preach. So what happened after this event when the Roman also were defeated. What happened? So the connection, connections or the ties between uh, the, uh, the Roman and the Christians have been cut off and there is no other way for the Christians in Arabia only to pay allegiance to the Prophet Muhammad and the new state which is governing and controlling Arabia. So when he sent the message, they uh, had a meeting, what are we supposed to do? Of course there were a kind of you know discussion, some of them they said, you know that Muhammad is the Prophet from Allah, and it was mentioned to you. And some of them they rejected that, and they, then they decided to send like you know a group of people to discuss or to debate with the Prophet. And it was led by uh, you know, three of their leaders, Sayyid, Wal Aqib, Wal Hatim, and there were many honored people among them. In some narrations, they were 30, others maybe 70, and of course, they came to the mosque of the Prophet because the Prophet used to uh, meet with the delegates from all Arabia in the mosque. So they came and also they were ringing their bells and they wanted to pray so Muslims they didn't like that they said oh Prophet are they supposed to do that in your mosque he said yes let them do it let them pray so the Prophet honored them respected them then they started to you know ask him questions about his religion who are you then he explained to them that he is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is calling to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only Allah no one associated with him and also he told him that we believe that Jesus peace be upon him he is the messenger of Allah and he is a human being that's what you know uh, what Muslims believe and he said 
to them, I summon you, I call you to believe in the in Allah who is only one and Jesus alayhi salam, he is the servant, messenger and the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then they told him, how come that he is a creature and at the same time he doesn't have a father? Because you know what they believe in, they believe that Jesus alayhi salam, he had something from God because you know, فَنَفَخْنَا فِيهِمُ uh, When we have blown uh, in him uh, from our spirit, so this is a kind of what? This is a kind of uh, divine part in his character, so he is not a, regu a regular human being. So they believe that he is a kind of God or he is a God. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them that Allah said in Surah Sa'd verses 71-72 إِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي خَالِقٌ بَشَرًا مِّنْ طِينٍ فَإِذَا سَوَّيْتُهُ وَنَفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي فَقَعُوا لَهُ سَاجِدِينَ When your Lord said to the angels, Surely I am going to create a mortal from dust. So when I have made him complete and breathed into him of my spirit, then fall down, making you know, sujood to him, prostrate to him. Then, they, then he also recited to them, إِنَّ مَثَلَ عِيسَى عِنْدَ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ آدَمَ خَلَقَهُ مِنْ تُرَابِ ثُمَّ قَالَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونْ Verily, the likeness of Isa before Allah is the likeness of Adam. He created him from dust and then he said to him be and he was so at that time they couldn't answer him but also they couldn't you know believe in him so he called them to do the mubahala so mubahala it is a kind of dua that both groups will stand up against each other and they will Pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring the curse upon the liars. And it's supposed to be in public, in front of their people. And it's supposed to end with this kind of dua. And it is a way to end discussion when no one wanted to believe in the other person. And it was a common way in previous religions. So what happened on the other day, they set an appointment to do the Mubahala. But the Christians, they had meeting. They said, or their leader told them, if Muhammad is going to bring his family, his family members, then don't do Mubahala with him. But if he brings his people, companions, you can do it because he's not going to sacrifice his family members if he is a liar. So the other day they saw that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he came with two kids and a woman and a man with him. So they asked who are they? Then they were told that the man is his son-in-law and he is his cousin. The woman is his daughter and those two kids are her sons. And Azul Fakhr al-Razi said, he said when they came out, when they came out, you know, he uh, covered them with his robe and, uh, you know, he said, إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُذْهِبْ عَنْكُمْ الرَّسَّهِ لِلْبَيْتِ وَيَطَهِرَكُمْ تَطْهِيرًا Which means they are infallible. <coughs> so, when they saw them and they recognized them, who are they, then their leader said, don't do mubahala with them. I see faces. If they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove 
a mountain from the earth, from the surface of the earth, Allah will answer their dua. Then they accepted to pay taxes to the Muslim, you know, to the Prophet to the uh, Islamic State at that time. So this occasion showing us the, the importance, the virtue, the, the, the dignity of Ahlul Bayt when the Prophet was asked why did you choose them over others he said because I chose what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loved so he chose the beloved ones to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number two showing the uh, the status of Imam Ali alayhi salam and he was the closest person to to the Prophet he is like he's like his soul he is because he carries his knowledge uh, he carries his uh, his his, his his spirit, uh, his carriage, and uh, you know he is like the most similar person to him. Of course, he is not a prophet, but he, uh, you know, he is nafsu rasulillah. He is like his soul, and also we know that you know all the the the, the stands of Imam Ali alayhi salam from the beginning of his life. He was raised uh, by the Prophet. He, uh, Imam Ali, defended the Prophet since that he was a boy, and uh, he continued his life supporting the Prophet. He was uh, the leader of most of you know the battles, uh, and so on and so forth. And also this mubahala, it shows us that you know. Um, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was open to discussions and debate, and debate. And this is very important, as Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said. And do not dispute with the followers of the book, except by what is best, except those of them who act unjustly and say, we believe in that which has been revealed to us and revealed to you, and our Allah and your Allah is one and to him do we submit so it is very important the brothers and sisters to understand this concept which is very important that we can all have discussions uh, between muslims and the christians and it's supposed to be uh, by the right way at the end i want to talk a little bit about the agreement between uh, uae and uh, you know israel it wasn't, you know, uh, uh, something new, but it is came in a very, uh, let's say, silly way, and as if Israel, you know, didn't, uh, you know, uh, they they are going to halt the annexation of the West Bank, and for that reason. UAE accepted to have a relationship, normal relationship with Israel. The relationship was there, you know, uh, years ago, maybe before one decade started, or maybe more than that. And there are other countries in the region had this kind of relationship with Israel. But it is a kind of hidden. Sometimes, you know, uh, the press is talking about it. But the reason behind this kind of agreement is, in fact, to be an accomplishment to President Trump, or he can use it to win the next, you know, uh, term in the White House, and also to support the Prime Minister of the uh, Zionist entity, uh, Netanyahu, to, you know, uh, be in his position. In fact, this is uh, something we condemn. We think that Palestinians will really uh, stand up against it and is not going to end the, the important case of Palestine. Also, brothers and sisters, we know that we uh, are going to, you know, have the month of Muharram in a couple days. Unfortunately, we are not going, going to have uh, the same Majal as us before. It is a sad occasion, but at the same time, what we need to 
understand that the most important thing that we need to do when we have been required and commanded by Imams to revive their affairs we need to be reformers like Imam Hussein salam, and start with ourselves when we start with ourselves it means that this is the right start and then we going to go uh, you know to our families our kids friends and then to the society so it is so essential to revive the affairs of Ahlul Bayt at the end I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the right stands in our lives and to give speedy recovery to the sick ones and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to inshallah accept our deeds forgive us our sins Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina wa Nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa tayyibina wa tahirin Assalamu alaikum